Thank you, Mr. Chair, Excellency Director General Dr. Francis Gary, Excellencies and distinguished delegates. To begin, I would like to wish everyone good health and extend my deepest sympathy to all who are affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. I believe we will all re-emerge stronger, better, and more united. Mr. Chair, I wish to congratulate the Director General, Dr. Francis Gurry, on his excellent leadership in guiding this organization. I also would like to convey Indonesia's appreciation for his excellent service and contribution to WIPO in the past 35 years, in which include 12 years of service as the Director General. We wish you the best for your future endeavors. In this opportunity, I would like to congratulate Mr. Darren Chang once again on his appointment as the Director General of WIPO. You may count on Indonesia's continued support to the missions of this organization for a balanced international IP system. Mr. Chair, Indonesia remains committed in supporting the international IP system amidst the pandemic. Our national IP services remains open. We recently launched a virtual counter, LockFit, as a part of our commitment to provide excellent public service. Registration of patents, trademarks, and industrial designs are being done through online application called iProline. Together with the online recordation service for copyright, the full online approach has increased the number of IP registration in Indonesia, even during this pandemic. Mr. Chair, Indonesia welcome, welcome the continued efforts of WIPO and its member states to mainstream the development in the work of the organization. On normative agenda, Indonesia recognizes the challenges posed by the pandemic and hope that normative works will soon, on, will soon continue. Indonesia has continued to support all normative works, in particular the work of the IGC, the protection of country names, the Broadcasting Treaty, and the Design Law Treaty. In this opportunity, we'd like to reiterate our commitment to host the Diplomatic Conference for the Design Law Treaty. Indonesia hopes that the remaining gaps could be closed so that a decision on Diplomatic Conference could be discussed. Finally, let me conclude by affirming Indonesia's full support and cooperation in rendering this Assembly a success. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair.